still alive. The baby. to go. Okay, Samus. Everything's normal. I awoke to the familiar voice of a quarantine officer. Let's try sitting up, huh? Slowly now. A dream. I had been reliving the tragic moments of my recent past. Thanks to the hyperbeam, which was given to me somehow by the baby, I laid Mother Brain to waste. And the explosion that followed destroyed planet Zebus along with the remains of Mother Brain, the Space Pirates, and my long-standing nemesis, Ridley, and the baby. Come on, Samus. Let's go next door. Ready for a quick test, Samus? Hey everyone, this is Man of Black Hat. And this is the opening charge beam for me. to Metroid Other M, which was requested by Alice W. Rabbit as a reward for her actually completing the contest and being the closest to guess how many. Shark looking charge beam, just the way I like yeah, it. Yeah, 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 shut up. Okay. More fun. This guy's gonna give us our. Go ahead our, and drop uh, some bombs. Tutorial. But I'm going to talk over him because I Okay, can. get out of morph ball mode and return to normal. Anywho, Alice W. Rabbit, this is Perfect. for you. Thanks. And currently, I don't have a co-host for this. Right. Stand in the middle of the room. But get a co-host. I'll be sure to mention that next episode, or whenever I actually get an surprise host. From there, kick climb to work your way up. So, welcome to Metroid Other M. I know a lot of people have just like that. Samus. Called this game bad and terrible because Samus is depicted as fairly weak in character. But really, I'll get into discussions as to exactly why that's not true. I know a lot of people complained about her voice actress and her depiction in this as stereotypical, frail okay, female, good. but she's not. Let's check your reaction time. 
Here come some beams. Dodge and I know some people think, oh, no. well, it's just a corridor. Okay. It's like Final Fantasy Those XIII. Well, guess what? It's not like Final Fantasy XIII. It's like the older Metroid games. Focus on the Ow. timing of the beams. On my practice nice. run, I did that a bit Remember better. Remember how that feels. Now, I haven't Next, actually completed the game, list? so this is kind Here's of a first look for me. I know, game's been out for a while, so it can't be a real first look, but... One of your pesky buddies is lurking well, here speaking somewhere. Speaking of which, for me, huh? Skyward Sword is just waiting on me to have the... Um, Why not say hello with a go, missile? Right. It's waiting on me to have the... Uh, time to practice on it, and I'm still in move mode, so... Yes, I've moved down to my new place in San Diego, as I said in the last video, which was a uh, cave story, but I still got a lot of stuff to do. Oh, preview of an ability we'll find out more about later, now. Okay, looking good. Space Pirate! Boom! Yay. Uh oh, time for a power bomb test. How about you try using a power bomb? And after that, it'll be back to more cutscenes, well so I will so don't shut up back. for that. I won't shut Allow up just yet. Yeah, yeah, we get bomb. it. All right, Samus, that's it for the test. Okay, time for me to shut up. Looks like you took quite a bit of damage. It's unbelievable how well you've held up. I wondered if this too was a result of the power the baby gave me. Right, you're due in the meeting room. The big dogs are waiting. I gave your suit a polish so you'd be at least somewhat presentable. Nice fro, dude. Not even a fragment. None of the baby remained on me. I knew it to be true, but still couldn't help looking at my palm for a sign. Never again would I encounter the baby. Never. The finality of it struck me once again. Mission completed. The planet Zebes was annihilated and all Metroids were exterminated. A simple report, almost dull even, but it felt momentous to me. I don't know how much time passed since then. Days went by in their quiet way, and people's recollections of Metroids and space pirates grew nebulous over time relegated to a past concern of the galactic communities. Nothing more than a faded memory. Codename Baby's Cry. A common SOS with the urgency of a baby crying. The nickname comes from the fact that the purpose of the signal is to draw attention. The signal was coming from a remote part of space. I altered the course of my ship as if this detour had already been part of my flight plan. Baby's cry. It was as though it was crying specifically for me. Skim this gigantic space station in their only ship. But I 
that's just me. Most people would just approach the ship or station straight on. Oh well, it's Samus, what are you gonna do? but it's the same ship. Yeah, it's the exact same ship from Super Metroid. You know, where you popped out of the top. Oh well. It's also the same ship from the Metroid Prime series, at least the later series. Federation, what are they doing here? Galactic Federation, huh? And now that we're out of the tutorial, we actually have control of Samus once more. Though, realistically, it's not going to be for long. This is just an area to get you used to actually controlling Samus in a three dimensional environment. And back to cutscene. <laughs> Remember me? Anthony. There's only one person who calls me Princess. And that person is Anthony Higgs of the Galactic Federation Army. Haven't seen you since that last mission. Hey, and your buddy's here too. Adam Malkovich. A general in the Galactic Federation Army. Not only a trusted confidant, but also my former superior officer. Yes, there was a time when I was enrolled in the Galactic Federation Army. And then I... Well, I was young and inexperienced. As the result of a certain incident, I left Adam's command and set out on my path as a solitary bounty hunter. you doing here? The first words out of his mouth were typical coming from Adam. To answer his question, I recounted the details of what had brought me to this place, and then I asked what circumstances led the Federation here. That information is not for an outsider. The word he so obviously chose, outsider, pierced my heart. Commander, we're all prepped. Ah, no dice. I think our only option is to use the laser to slowly burn our way through. This is gonna take a while. The electrical system here is out, and we can't get the barrier wall to open. We tried using explosives, but it's tricky to pull off without collateral damage. What we need is some way to focus the power onto one centralized location. So, lock on and fire a missile. Yeah, got it. Adam hadn't authorized it, but I decided to remain on site for the sake of the others. 
Okay, one thing that we're going to get into right now is the fact that Samus trusts Adam Malkovich enough to follow his orders, even though she's a solitary bounty hunter. The reason for this is the kind of, oh shit, the kind of relationship they had previously. This was explored in the Metroid Zero Mission comic book, which is available online. You can actually find it with just a cursory Google search. And I'll leave a, uh, a link to it, if I can find a link to it, easily enough, in the description of this video. But her and Adam did have a relationship that went a bit beyond what she initially describes it as, but never really went anywhere. And pretty much, he's the lover she never had. So she trusts him a hell of a lot. And I'll get into that more la ow, later. Anyways, for those of you who don't know, this is actually a direct sequel to Super Metroid and comes right in before Metroid Fusion, which I figured out what I did wrong on that one, and I will be resuming that when I can with Rezo. So, I've made a decision on that one. It's just going to take me a while to get back into the groove of things. Don't worry, guys. I'm finishing up what all one of the old games that I can, and I might be redoing some of the old games now that I have better capture equipment. And an overall better setup for recording. I think I may actually redo Metroid Zero Mission in the future. I will not upload the new version of Metroid Zero Mission to YouTube, YouTube since it's already there. <laughs> in its old form, pardon me. Oh, that's a... I haven't gotten to get to that yet, but I'll figure out a way. Oh, you betcha. I'll figure out a way. Anyways, we gotta get up to here, and once we get to the save point, that'll be it for this episode. So, this is the introductory episode to Metroid Other M, and this is Man in the Black Hat. I'll see you next time for more of Metroid Other M on Rezowalkthroughs.com. Later.